Today we're putting in this massively sized throttle plate from Modern Performance. It's cold and windy and miserable out here today. We're gonna to take this pipe, take this hose clamp off, all the sensor connections, throttle cables, sensor connection, and then we have to take the aluminum manifold off. There's a bolt back here. That's pretty annoying. It's a 13 mil. Now we're just after the hose clamps. Got one right there. Got one in the back. Now you can just kind of pick it up and wiggle it out of there. Take some rags, towels, whatever, shove them in your intake. And we're done under the hood for a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it. All right, we're back inside. It's a lot warmer in here than it was outside. So I'll put these two relatively side by side so you can kind of tell the size that we're getting at here. With a turbo engine, the name of the game is squeezing as much air into the combustion chamber as possible. So you have a big turbo, you have an intercooler, and then it shoves the air right in through the throttle plate. Well, if your throttle plate is small, it restricts the amount of volume that you can get into the combustion chamber. What this new throttle plate is gonna do is allow more air to enter the intake at any given time. Plus it's supposed to help out with throttle response. This is really well made from modern performance. Nice billet piece of aluminum. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bracket off here, housing the throttle cable mount. Keep track of those bolts. Then we're gonna take off these main 10 mils here. And there you go remove this old gasket. The new one came with the gasket. I'm gonna clean up any of this RTV that's still around. So there we have the throttle plates and you can definitely tell which one is gonna flow more volume. So what we're gonna do now is transfer all the pieces that we need to from the old one to the new one. We're gonna start out with the TPS throttle position sensor, a couple of Torx bits on there. So this is your throttle position sensor. So I'm gonna put a little grease on that before I put it into the new throttle plate. Just some white lithium grease. Here's the hardware kit that Modern gives you. Got that new gasket. These three longer guys are gonna be the mounting bolts. They are now Allens, no longer 10 mils. And it's a really good thing they give you this if you consider how much larger that guy is. As far as the engine's concerned, it's not gonna know a difference between the intake manifold and the charge air pipe. But look at how much thicker that billet aluminum piece is. It's insane. And it also comes with sensor bolts, which is very much appreciated. We have two that are longish and one that is shorter. So I'm assuming the one that's shorter is gonna go up to this hole, thread these in. Now it went from a Torx to an Allen. Looks like a three millimeter key. There you go. TPS installed. Now we'll move to the idle control valve. There is a little seam between the mounting, so I'm just gonna give it a little pry. Pop that O-ring out of there. And there we go. Again, I'm gonna put some lithium grease on those O-rings. So there's only one mounting hole for this. Just gonna put it right down in there. Make sure it snaps into place. Line the holes up for our Allen. Same size, three mil. Let me put the bracket on for the throttle cables before I destroy this gasket. I've been very impressed with Modern Performance and their parts. These guys seem to have a definite passion in what they're doing, and I think it's great to support them. One of the things I like the most is that little touch on the throttle plate, and it looks fantastic. All right, we've got the throttle plate built up. It's ready to rock and roll. The little gasket is gonna go on it just like this, and the opening, is perfectly cut to the inner diameter. What we have to do to get maximum, maximum efficiency, efficiency is we're going to need to port it, which is a job I understand not for the faint of heart. So that is the intake with the new gasket on. Notice how we have these edges here that stick up into the path of airflow. So what we need to do is knock those down and make this all one continuous path, one smooth path for the air to flow through. What we're gonna do, and there's many different ways to do this, but I'm gonna take a Sharpie, gonna make sure my gasket is lined up just right, and then I'm gonna come up through here and I'm gonna paint the inside of the gasket with the Sharpie. Then we need to take a grinder and grind all that excess material away. So this is where the term port and polish comes into play. I'm not gonna be concerning myself so much with the polish aspect, but certainly the port so that we have smooth flowing air down into the intake. You can buy bit sets like this at Harbor Freight. And this is exactly what you do not want to buy. These little grinding bits kept on getting packed up with aluminum. I tried different sizes, got this cylinder, I have a cone, and they all did the exact same thing. 
They took little material away and just got packed up with aluminum. So I ended up getting these sanding drums. You can find these things all over the place and they did a much better job. They took off loads of material. They did get packed up with aluminum from time to time. Just make sure you have a couple extras. So this is probably gonna end up happening to you quite a bit. Have a lot of these ready. I'm just starting with the biggest one and working my way down. Still got some blue around the edges, but we're starting taking some material off now. Let's see how we're doing. I am making a mess. We're almost there. I'm gonna switch my sandpaper out one more time. Okay, I think the port portion, pretty close to being done. Let's test fit. Yep. So with the mounting bolt holes lined up, I've got the outer circle. Maybe do a little bit more over here. But for the most part, it's pretty good. Now I just need to work on the polish part, which is finishing it out. Now it's nice and smooth right there. Boy, that looks great. A little bit of rough towards the back end, but right up where the plate's gonna mount up is super smooth now. Now we have to blow it out. So we've got it all smoothed out here. Pretty happy with the results. Everything is nice and in line with the gasket. So I'm gonna take a mounting bolt, put the gasket on it, start getting this thing mounted up. And there we go. New throttle plate installed. All right, let's go throw it on. I can't put my finger on it, but something's different. Car is running good, new throttle body installed. Next up, I'm gonna be installing a bigger intercooler, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.